Once upon a time, a little boy and a little girl named Hansel and Gretel lived far off in the woods. I'm Gretel. No, I'm Gretel. Well, I'm the little girl, so I'm Gretel. I'm also a little girl, so I must be Gretel. Well, Hansel could be a girl. Can we at least change the name to Hannah or something? Once upon a time, two little girls named Hannah and Gretel lived far off in the woods. The girls were not all alone. They lived with their father, a poor woodcutter. I am but a poor woodcutter. Daddy, why are we so poor? Yeah, you have a job. You're a woodcutter. Why isn't that bringing in the money? We live in a forest. Actually, most people live in a forest, so they're pretty much surrounded by wood. You didn't put much thought into that career choice, did you? Once a great famine came across the land, and many people were starving for lack of food. I'm really hungry, Daddy. You're always saying that. Girls, I'm worried there just isn't enough food to go around. I'm going to have to send you off into the woods to look for some food. You're sending us off alone into the woods to look for food? Yeah, couldn't you just look around a little bit while you're out there cutting some wood? Any food I find while cutting wood, I'm required to turn over to the landlord. Hmm, seems legit. Daddy, why didn't you become a landlord instead of a woodcutter? My parents couldn't afford to send me to landlord school. They could only afford to send me to woodcutter school. So I guess you're going to have to send us off into the woods, huh? Julian, I mean Gretel, I have the feeling that he's just sending us off into the woods so we won't come back. Oh, our father would never do that to us. Would you, father? Um, no. Well, that seemed pretty convincing. The girls were worried they would get lost in the woods, so they came up with a plan. Don't worry, Addie. I mean, Hannah. I have a plan. Yeah, I was thinking that we could take our cell phones. Oh, I let the cell phone plan lapse because it was just too expensive. Sorry. Best father ever. Here's my plan, Hannah. We'll use this old hot dog bun to leave a trail of breadcrumbs. Wait a minute, I thought that there was a famine. Where did you get a hot dog bun? I made it from the crumbs of a bunch of other hot dog buns. Well, that's our food. We don't have to go wandering in the woods now. We'll just eat the hot dog bun. Oh, Hannah, then how will we ever find our way back? I'm starting to think that she gets her brains from Dad's side of the family. Well, it seems like you have everything you need. Go on your way and return with lots of food. So the two girls set off on their way through the woods. The girls walked through the woods till they arrived at a section of woods that looked like a hallway. As the girls walked through the woods, they left a trail of breadcrumbs behind. They didn't know that their father, the woodcutter, was eating the breadcrumbs behind them. Mm. That's some good breadcrumbs. Mm. Next, the girls ran into a stranger in the woods. Oh, hello, little girls. Are you a giant doggy? Yes. Don't you remember the story of the giant doggy who encounters Hansel and Gretel? Actually, we're Hannah and Gretel. Yeah, there was some sort of gender mix-up. Oh, well that's okay. Um, maybe could you just give me the golden dog biscuit now? Golden dog biscuit? What are you talking about? The golden dog biscuit. You give it to me, and I sprout wings, and I fly away. Everyone knows the story. Man, you are really confused. Yeah, we think you might be in the wrong fairy tale. Gretel, I don't even think that there is a fairy tale where a dog asks for a golden biscuit and then sprouts wings and flies away. Oh, this isn't a fairy tale. This is just what I do. Sorry. And so the girls set off on their way again. It was at that point the girls realized something. Hannah, I'm all out of hot dog bun. Should we turn back, Gretel? I don't know. We haven't found any food yet. I'll tell you what. Let's go pick up all of those hot dog bun crumbs and call it a day. 
But when the girls turned around, they saw that all the crumbs were gone. All the crumbs are gone. The birds must have eaten them. Well, I guess there isn't much more we can do now. We have to move on. I really wish that Daddy hadn't let that cell phone service lapse. So then the girls went on their way. The girls kept walking through the forest. They walked and walked, but then they saw something amazing. It's a giant house of candy. We're saved. Yeah, we can eat the house. Uh, I was thinking that the food inside might be a lot more sanitary. Wow, what a nice house! But no candy. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. There in the kitchen was a strange old lady. Look, it's a strange old lady. Oh, what have we here? Strange old lady, we need your help. We are but two little girls who have become lost in the woods. Would you be Hansel and Gretel? Hannah and Gretel. There was a gender mix-up. Come in, come in. I will feed ye. So the girls entered the kitchen not knowing the strange old woman had evil plans. Strange old woman, what for you stir in that bowl? Gretel, why are we talking in Middle English all of a sudden? I have made fresh combos. Come take as many as you like. Seems, Seems legit. legit. And so the girls helped themselves to the combos. But then the strange old woman grabbed Gretel's arm. Strange old woman, why for you grab my arm? I must show you more food in yonder pantry. Shall I go too? Yes, let's all go to yonder pantry. And so the strange old woman led both of the girls to the pantry. Is this where the food is kept? Yes, you must look far in the back to get the best food. Then the two girls walked into the pantry. But then the strange old woman closed the door. I get the feeling that we've been had. At least there's food in here. Now I shall have plenty of food. So what's the plan, Gretel? Follow my lead. Strange old lady, do you need some help around the house? I suppose I do. No, the little one stays inside the pantry. I don't want you pulling any fast ones. So, strange old woman, what shall I do? You may begin toiling. And so little Gretel began toiling. She toiled and toiled until she was very tired. I've toiled so long, strange old woman. Can I take a break? No. For the moment you no longer toil, we shall have your sister for dinner. I'm right here, you know. I can hear everything you're saying. So Gretel continued to toil. But soon she felt very weary. Strange old woman, I feel very weary. Do we really have to eat my sister? Thou may take a break in the pantry. And so Gretel stopped toiling and headed to the pantry. But there she stopped. Why are you not going into the pantry? I wanted to show you the bucket. It has a hole in it. But then Gretel tricked the old woman. Then Gretel saved Hannah from the pantry and ran away. There wasn't even a hole in this bucket, you little liar! But it was too late and the little girls ran away from the cottage. And so the girls ran and ran through the forest. The girls were tired, they could run no more. Thanks for saving my life, Gretel. Ah, oh, you would have done the same. Now we're lost, and we're hungry, and there's a strange old woman after us. Well, I did steal some combos before we left. Well, we better make them last. Come on. And the girls set off.
By sheer luck, the girls found their own home. Mmm, now for a nice dinner of hot dog crumbs. <laughs> hot dog crumbs, eh? So it was you that took them, not the birds. Um, cheap, cheap. That's it, Daddy. No combos for you. Yeah, and we're gonna call the local authorities on you. Tell you what, girls, if I get the phone service turned back on, can we call it even? Okay, but you have to promise to let us beat you in Fortnite. And so it was agreed, and everyone lived happily ever after. Hey, did you like this video? Do you want to see more fairy tales? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to hit that like button, and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. And be sure to check out our other channels, Baby Teeth More and the Jillian and Addie channel. Goodbye!